Howdy everyone, another resin car model by a brand called Cart High End Boutique it is the Ferrari SF90. Doesn't say any of that on the outside of the box though. And I decided to go with gold because some dude in my building has one of these. I don't know if he has the spider or the coop though. It's just parked a lot. Alright, so we got this uh, cloth here. Very nice and all. It's just, you know, not sure if I need to buy that myself. I have like six billion of those cloths. And we gotta undo this. So I did not know this, but this is a plug-in hybrid. I did not know this is a Ferrari made plug-in hybrids, but this is it apparently. And this car started production in the real world back in 2019 and is still made today. They caught they started at over a hundred uh, half a million dollars, so over five hundred thousand US dollars, that's where they start, and they end up somewhere under six hundred. But you know those dealers they always milk you. You have to have the privilege to get gouged by Ferrari. So, well, let's see. There's some crazy power outputs, though. Uh, there's a motor on each front wheel and one on the transmission. Those motors are making like 217 horsepower. But then the twin turbo 4 liter uh, V8 in the back there is making 770 horsepower ish. So the combined horsepower is like almost 990 horsepower. <laughs> that's. that's pretty powerful it's just rear-wheel drive I believe uh, no duh never mind it's gotta be four-wheel drive if it's got motors in the front wheels all right so uh, this is taped together this is a very elaborate base there's like three three colors going on red carbon red and uh, this tape is insane so while I'm trying to deal with this tape uh, this has an eight-speed uh, transmission See what else I can learn about this. I'm sorry. Electric side slip control. I'm reading all this from Wikipedia, so take it with a grain of salt. 2.5 seconds, 0 to 60 or 100. Got a lot of aerodynamics features, it seems, like DRS, as found in like F1 cars. The drag reduction system. Interesting. Uh, I cut my fingernails uh, yesterday. Should have done that. I guess I could maybe do this. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, boy, what a pain. At least it's a standard size box, so I'm uh, grateful for that. Maybe they have different golds. Maybe this is a metallic yellow. I don't know. The camera, my camera, the photos, everything, your your screen. So the color changes a lot. Let's just look at the shape. I don't know. It's not really. It's kind of an insect. It's almost like a McLaren appearance to it. Very alien insect like. Not sure if I'm liking the styling of this. This one actually has the wheels that uh, were modeled on this thing, but it's not the best representation of the actual shape. So I want I pulled up this red image. Let's we'll see if the rear matches up. It does. The wing looks pretty good there. The haunches of the rear, then that, and then the windscreen, and then the front end seems all right. Oh, uh, actually, I mean maybe this. It might be an illusion, but it looks like that bows up more. This seems kind of flat. Uh, hard to say, hard to say. Nice little top, three-quarter view. Well, maybe this isn't the gold color I ordered. Although it's metallic, it looks much more like this photograph, which looks like a yellow to me. It's really funky, the air passes on the wing like that. It's uh, There's some weird shaping going on there. All right, so I guess that's enough for the photo comparisons. You can rewind and pause and and decide for yourself if it looks if it looks realistic or not. So let's get this space out of the way. So they totally covered up whatever screws might be holding that thing in. This is fake leather. This stuff is gonna peel off and crack later on. So I'm not a big fan of it because it costs more than a plastic base. And it's just gonna look ugly in the end, anyways. Same with this uh, carbon thing I don't know it feels soft so even the I mean look this is brand new and see the corners it's all cheap looking and 
I think it'd just be better if it was molded plastic or something like that. That this looks used already and it's brand new. Alright, uh, yeah, stitching is nice. And then we have the nameplate, which is nice. It's not too reflective, so that's easy to read. Cart High End Boutique, made in China. 164, Stali, that thing. And there's a hundred, 200 of this color. Naturally, I think most people would go for the red, but I have so many red Ferraris in my collection now. I kind of wanted to go with something different. I think it looks nicer in this color, also. Well, we'll start with the front wheels here. Well, they're molded nicely. Uh, that horse is in the up position, even though the wheel isn't actually, you know, like vertical or anything like that. So that's interesting. Uh, the caliper here is really huge. <laughs> it's also three dimensional, so that looks nice. And then the rotor itself looks like it could be like. It has a texture on it where it makes it look like it's a ceramic rotor. And it's got the, the dimples of the cross drilling, so that's very impressive. You know, notice the, the air passing between these spokes here, right? So that's good too. What's not so great is the sidewall of this tire. Uh, I don't know if it should be that flat or not. I mean, it's a low profile tire and all, but it looks almost like a cookie cutter cut this thing. I feel like it could be rounder. But uh, maybe that's a nitpick, I don't know. What is nice is I don't see any major tread blocks like a truck tire. So that's nice, even though it does have a tread. Yeah, maybe in the back it's easier to see. See, there is a tread, but it doesn't look like it's going to go rally racing. So I think that's good. There's some sort of carbon detail here. It's actually sticking out, some sort of wind deflector, and it seems smooth. Panel gaps are fine. Look how fine the metal flake is of this yellow paint or gold, whatever you want to call it. This crest looks good. The uh, flag up there, the horse looks all right. Separate mirror here looks good. There's a, a shiny sticker there. The bottom part of the mirror is black. The top is color matched to the car. Then we have this carbon decal here looking nice. It's interesting how it scoops and transitions, it seems. Maybe a little bit of. Maybe not. Maybe it's an illusion. Uh, I think this decal might be clear coated. It doesn't look too wrinkly. It's not perfectly smooth, but I think it might be clear coated. Uh, okay. How do you open the door? Alright, probably this. That uh, must be the door actuator. And then we have this funky vent. Looks good. I wonder if there's air passing. It looks like it actually is passing air. Yeah, see? You can see the light shifter on. So that's a real vent. And then we have a nice carbon detail above it. And it seems pretty smooth. It might be clear coated. Yeah, a rear wheel. Like, now this one actually looks vertical, but kind of in a weird way. You know, like, uh, oh, I take that back. I take that back because look at these photos. This is how I expect wheels to be posed, you know, with the, like a star on an American flag. But look at this, it's actually upside down. So, <laughs> I guess maybe they looked at that photo and not that photo. I guess they're not wrong. It's just a design choice, how they want to pose their wheels. Okay, well anyways, it works. Um, let's just finish up this side here. I'm gonna guess that's black paint in these two little vents. Looks pretty nice, very thin. All right, getting up to this front end here. Let's start with this headlight. They're so thin. Do I feel any ridges there? I kind of feel some sort of surface breaks going on there. Maybe that's how they got some of these reflections going on. But it looks like there's like a rectangle there, there, maybe some light there, something there. And uh, it's obviously very shiny. It looks black from this angle. But as you go forward, or maybe with the light cutting in there, you know, it looks kind of silver. So I'm pretty sure there's silver paint back there, at least, if not molded details. All right. Now look at the front grill here. Uh, is there silver back there? Or is that the reflection of the grill? Hold on. I don't know. It looks again like there's air passing. I don't know why there's tape there. It's too bright.
Well, there's air passing. I just don't see anything behind them. All right. And then that that Ferrari badge is very small. I think it's proportional. It makes sense. Just looking through those grills again. It's almost like I see silver on the on the top grill. What would that? Maybe not. No, I do. It does vanish as I shift it. So radiators. There's a little carbon detail on the bottom of the chin spoiler as well. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Now these wheels are not posed. So the wheels are just random, randomly posed. But then the Ferrari badges in the center of the wheels are put on afterwards. Because all the horses seem like they're positioned properly, right? But <laughs> it's weird that they wouldn't position the wheels identically. I guess this is, I guess that's realistic, maybe? Or do Ferrari horses always end up in the same position in relation to a spoke? I don't know. Okay, well, this side looks just as good, so let's see about the rear. Now we got those really squished taillights there. They're translucent, lights bouncing around in there. The third brake light is resin, it seems, as well. The Ferrari horse, though, it's kind of weird. It's too high up because the head of the horse is just floating in the air. So naturally, that should be down lower, or maybe it's too big of a horse. It seems, uh... It's just weird, right? It's just floating up there. So that's an issue. What is cool though is how you can see right through to the, you know, engine area. The exhaust pipes are nice. Wow, that's a really deep exhaust. <laughs> I'm pretty sure those are metal tubes. I think I got the pick stuck for a second. So let's see if you, I wonder if there, you can see anything in them. Which would have made sense, but it's just darkness and that's fine. That's what the way it should be. Yeah, those are metal tubes. They're just way too circular and way too thin and way too shiny to not be metal. Really cool how they stick out like that. Very nice. Okay, yeah. All right, so really big grill back here now, but I don't know if there's any, no, there's nothing behind there. It's just air probably, but it's nice. Well, I guess there's a little bit of an air gap there. I do see something way back there. So I said there's a license plate with some printing on it, and that's a thin piece of metal. Look how thin that plate is, yeah. The reflectors down here in the lower part, they seem to be resin as well. And then the texture of carbon. Let me just run the pick over this. Probably a decal. Feels quite smooth, maybe clear coated. Let's see, you got like a raised rivet maybe, details. Some diffuser details are very thin, very nice. Anyways, it looks pretty nice. These might be lights or something for the license plate, these black paint jobs there. And then look at this tiny, tiny piece going in this vent. It's textured as well, so I have to assume that's a piece of metal. Possibly a decal, but it's very thin. It's much thinner than a toothpick. So that's quite impressive. All right, this engine or hybrid system. I don't know where the battery would be on such a thing. But we got an orange hose and uh, maybe an oil filler cap for the engine there. Some sort of carbon details there. Looks pretty good. This is literally a vent right here. Uh, and then this metal grill is nice. It's very glossy black, but still probably passing air. The Ferrari is in the right orientation. I don't know, maybe one's a charge, one's a fuel. Or don't know for sure. The shark fin antenna thing is separate. Looks nice. Uh, I guess uh, going into the interior, this is nice and smooth black here. Then we have like more of a matte finish black in front of it. Oh, and then we have a window wind separator right here. Okay. A nice carbon detail on the back wall. Maybe a cubby for your phone. The seats, nice yellow stripe and the yellow horse up there. One more striping, air passing there. Uh, Seatbelt buckles in red look good. Um, yellow, red in the center console. Maybe some silver is probably a decal. And then it's leading up to this area with SF90 Stradale there. We have a 
Oh yeah, we have your mirror. It's probably, a, yeah, it's so thin it has to be a piece of metal. And then in the instruments, we have a red needle on a black and white gauge. The steering wheel, you got the horse in the upright position. It's got a flattened bottom. Uh, what else? What else? Some vent details there, I guess. And, alright, I'm going to need the flashlight, but I think there are foot pedals down in there as well. Foot rest over there. You know, there are no foot pedals. Yeah, you know, I would assume there should be a brake pedal and a go pedal. Not seeing it though. That's a big oversight for a resin brand. I can understand if it was die cast, but almost all resin brands seems to put foot pedals in. At least on an open top car it should have it. Maybe it wouldn't matter on a closed roof, but... Top of the dash looks nice. You got a lot of carbon and regular matte black finish details there. Yeah, alright. No actual seat belts though. Yeah, you do see seat belts on a lot of, uh, even, even, uh, diecast. You'll see decals of seat belts at least. But, uh, on the resins, very often you'll actually see floating seat belts. But, uh, not seeing that on this one. It's a major deal of though. Uh, door panel looks nice. Carbon. That yellow is nice. The armrest is like in the hand grab or a little silver there. Yeah, yeah. Some switches on the steering wheel in red. Eh, that's okay. I guess if you're a nitpicker, you'd probably want to see some uh, pedals on the floor. But uh, I'm, I'm more happy with the outside appearance than the inside. And I gotta say, other than that horse being floating just in space there, I think it looks pretty good on the outside. I really like the metal grills that they have there. Last bit I didn't talk about the wiper blades. It's nice that they have etched details like hollowness between the arms, but the blades themselves are perfectly flat. They're not actually perpendicular to the windscreen. And other brands do do that, so that's why I thought I'd mention it. It can be done. I'm also noticing, I'm also noticing there's some black in here, which is a nice detail because considering how thin that is. I think it's just paint probably, but it's really neat. Okay. Let's get this thing spinning. Setting. So I do have this Novatex by SF90 Spider. It doesn't have a brand on it, but maybe it's U2 just based off of the base because it looks identical to a U2 base. Uh, yeah, so this is basically it with some cra more craziness going on. And then I think the predecessor is the F8 Tributo. Now this one does say U2 and you'll notice the base is pretty much identical, right? So this is a nice model. They're all nice models, I guess. I think I just prefer the styling of this over the Novatech, which is going a little bit overboard with its added details. And then this is the 488 Pista by U2. So what I like about U2 is the plastic bases. Those bases are never going to go bad unless you scratch up the bottom a bunch. But uh, this fake leather stuff, it just doesn't last long. I know this because one six scale action figures that have like leather jackets and stuff, those things always peel off. They just, they're fake. You know, it's not, it's not a real leather. So uh, just look forward to that if you buy from this uh, particular brand. Hopefully Cart will change their ways and just switch to a plastic base. I mean, just switch to a regular base like an Inno 64 base. Save a lot of money. You know, people are after the models, not the, not the, uh, that. Anyways, let's, uh, get a top view for you. So much better having an open cockpit. And actually, I wish this wasn't a black cockpit. It's so much easier to see what's going on there. But, uh, again, I just wanted to try to go with the Ferrari that wasn't red. Although that one isn't either. Um, let's try the low angle.
All right. So nothing majorly wrong with this model, you know, just a minor thing with the rear badge being floating in the air, but everything else is really well well done uh, as far as the actual car model goes, not the, not the base. So I'll probably, you know, buy from this brand again if they make anything that I like. Um, yeah, so we'll see you whenever that happens. Thanks for checking this out. We'll see you in the next resin video.